Welcome back to Mountain Connections. We are going to continue talking about food to make you hungry this morning. And coming up, we are going to focus on kidney health and food. So I recently talked with a chef. He has some fabulous recipes for us that are not only delicious, but great for your kidneys. Let's take a look. A chronic kidney disease diagnosis changed everything for our next guest, Chef Dwayne Sunwold. But after making life changes, including his diet and incorporating better eating habits, he found himself on the road to remission. In honor of National Family Meals Month, Chef Dwayne, who's featured on nephew.org's The Neff Chef, chef for the National Kidney Foundation's Kidney Kitchen, is here to share his favorite kidney-friendly recipe and discuss the importance of getting families to talk about their mental health history at the dinner table, especially when it comes to kidney health. Thanks so much for joining us today, Chef Dwayne. Well, thanks for having me. So tell Let us me... a little bit about your diagnosis. Well, I actually was diagnosed with um, a rare kidney disease 20 years ago, and over the first 18 months I was working with my medical team, and I really wasn't getting much better. So they recommended I change my diet. Um, and what was amazing was once I changed my diet, within two weeks I actually started feeling better. So I was very motivated to stay with this diet. And because of that, over the next three years, I was able to put my kidney disease in remission. And that's why I'm such an advocate for healthy lifestyle for kidney patients. And that's why I'm working with Otska America Pharmaceutical Incorporated. And we know that one type of kidney disease is autosomal dominant polycystic kidney disease, I probably did not say that correctly, or ADPKD, which is a leading inherited cause and fourth leading cause of end stage renal disease. What tips can you share about eating a healthy and balanced diet? Well, any kidney patient, it's really important that they talk to their medical team because it's very individualized what their nutrition plan should be. But one general rule for most all patients is that we need to lower our sodium level, which means salt. So let me show you here some recipes that are flavorful, tasty, and they're really low in sodium. Um, I have right here a Southwest grain bowl. It's made with quinoa, rice, black beans, fresh cut vegetables. Over here we have a white bean queso dip, which is kind of unique because it's made with white beans, nutritional yeast, and cashews, and it's excellent with an array of fresh vegetables. And then we also have a chia, lemon chia seed pudding with fresh blueberries. This is really good for breakfast, as a snack, or even a dessert. And now I want to get back to our grain bowl because I want to finish it with a Southwest dressing. We have here um, our Southwest seasonings. We have olive oil, balsamic vinegar, Dijon mustard. All you do is put that into a jar, shake it up, and it's ready to be served. So then what we have to do is just drizzle that right over our grain bowl and we can go ahead and serve it. Meal time is typically when families gather to eat a good meal, talk about their day, and share and make memories. But you say it's also the perfect time to talk about family health. Why is that? Well, mealtime is a great time to learn about your family and your history, and I think it's really important that we also learn our family medical history as well. And with ADPKD, it's an inherited kidney disease, and um, you don't know about it if you don't know your family history. I have a personal friend who was diagnosed with ADPKD who learned about kidney disease at an extended family dinner where his uncle was diagnosed with it. So he went and got tested and found out he had ADPKD, and he found out his son had it as well. So it's really important that we understand our family history because sometimes we don't know we actually have these problems unless we talk to our family. And where can viewers and listeners go to find kidney-friendly recipes like the one you shared today and learn more about ADPKD? So these recipes and other really healthy, flavorful recipes can be found at nephew.org. That's N-E-P-H-U dot org. And if you have questions or want to learn more about ADPKD, you can go to adpkdquestions.com. Well, thank you so much, Chef Twain, for joining us today. I appreciate this important conversation about ADPKD, suggestions about family dinner time, and great recipes. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having me.